All right, so the bottom jaw is pretty easy. It's just go in here with the big massive mover. Getting that to move up. Getting all these to pull back. And I'm just arranging my edge loops so they, they make sense. Like this one right here has something right here so I can make for this bend. Wow. And then I'm going to take these and just pull them out a little bit. And I guess, you know, the one thing I should tell you that I do have a plastic skull that I, is laying in my lab. And I can look at it correlating to this. So I guess that, that gives me a little bit of an advantage. You should always have a skull reference, even if it's, you know, during Halloween, you should look for one of those Halloween props. I think I said in one of the videos it all leads back to the skull and it does you know for every character you develop you know it's going to have some kind of probably skull in it whether it be a dragon a horse whatever uh since the skull has so the topology is good I could stretch this and move this and rotate it to really obscene ways and develop a lot of good skulls just from one skull so not that you have to start that way that's just a way that I kind of start with sometimes. Okay, so I'm matching this up to the teeth. See how the teeth? I want this edge loop to go right down the center of the most teeth. So I'm just going to kind of move this and pull this down until I can get them kind of in the center. Again, this brush not so good for some of the things it wants to move the entire form. So there we go. There's that. And I want to do that for the bottom jaw too. I want to make sure that there's an edge loop for the teeth. That way it can fit all that great detail in the teeth at higher levels. Good. Now, if we divide this up once, and I'm going to divide these equally amongst themselves, so this one already has a, a division level in it. Here, I'm just going to kind of move this form. This one it would be better with the other move tool. And I'm always looking at different angles too. So, you know, when you hit T on the keyboard to toggle smooth, 
just keep in mind, you know, use your common sense. Uh, you know, if you were chewing food, it'd be kind of hard if you had a kind of a gap in there. And you should just check your profiles. So here's a profile that I'm checking. Does that look good? There we go. All sealed up nice and neat. Now the, the teeth are actually going to come out a little further, so I'm going to pull back that form a little bit. And I should be ready to add some more levels to this. I'm going to add those levels and meet in the next video. So we're going to divide up to a new amount, which I cannot see. So my miscellaneous is down here. Again, for some odd reason, my custom UI just destroys itself every once in a while. And I'm gonna to need to know these points. So there's my active. Here's my total. Okay, this time I'm going to st store that configuration like twice. There we go. And that should stick this time. Should. Okay, so here I only have 8,000 polys and I'm, I'm going to take this up a little bit. There's two in the face. Now, usually we, we work our way up to this level, okay? We don't automatically just throw in polygons. Um, I'm doing this oops, because the topology is all right. So the forms are already at the level I want them to be. Okay, now, uh, saving this with the high-res detail. Okay, in my personal journeys, I never save it with the high detail on. Try not to, anyway. You'll probably see me break that rule all the time. Okay. Now, before you get started, what you should do is make sure you can load those. Okay. So initialize ZBrush, load tool. And if you can't, you can't. I mean, if you can't, it's going to be one of those things you're going to you're going to get too far into it anyway. And then you're going to find out that for some odd reason something went wrong. Good. It loads good. All right. So meet me in the next video where we start the teeth. Bring popcorn.